fight! That uh... Creatures. <coughs> Fine, don't ya? <coughs> that could have turned off if it hadn't been for me. The pirates on the beach won't be a problem anymore. You still want to join them? Chi. Fine. If we're gonna run, they don't need to know what we're up to. Follow me. I'll take you to the pirates' camp. Capo Camil y Makoto. Don't worry. I'll make sure your guards don't see us. Mi amiti ono meleke. <laughs> Quiet. Don't draw attention. We better avoid the guards. Kucho, me and Miti, Hoshi, his friend. All right. You seem satisfied. Kucho Halima, me and Miti, Tawalele Kipawa. You want to give me something? Thank you. Take care of yourself. What do you think of Miyamiti? That pearl of the southern seas you brought here? Yeah, her. Sipping rum with her under the palm trees, being pampered day and night? Trust me, that's not how things would be with her. That help me. I'm a total failure when it comes to sweet-talking the ladies. Could you get me a flower or something? A blue one would be best. The ladies will love it. All right. I'll get you a flower, but you better do the rest. It's a deal. Ask Cunningham about the flower. He can barely hold a sword, but he knows all about plants. To Sheka, happy. Um... What? 
Au. How's the research going? Well, indeed. Yet at present, I find myself lost in verse. It may be due to the exotic beauty you brought with you. You may find this an odd request, but would you be willing to hear a poem? Sure. Go on. You are too kind. All right, then. Oh, graceful beauty from afar. Ah, uh, I just remembered. I really have to go. Such a pity. Come again soon, my friend. I still have a few questions. Ask away. Where do the special flowers grow? I recommend searching in areas with low barometric pressure. Low what? To put it another way, go higher. Visit the dwellings of the natives. I'm sure you will find what you're looking for nearby. It seems like every plant grows in the mountains here. Not every plant, but the unique specimens do. Stop! Tell Camille, did you see Miamiti? I brought her to the pirate's camp. Da capo, Gucho! Do not joke with me. I'm serious. I did what she wanted. Oh no, you bring disaster on her. You Guccio's land on Kila. Problems come. Now, go! Here's your flower. Now go off and court her. Thanks. Today's my lucky day. Here, this is for you. You earned it. Hello? Uh, <laughs> uh, Capucheco? I, uh, I'm blue. Uh, well, I meant blue flowers. I have some for you. Uh, quite right. Uh, me and you, uh, how about it? <laughs> is that a yes? <laughs> wow, this is unbelievable. I'll drink to you. I've got my wits back. Too soon. Right, I'm going to make a hat out of your skin. I 
I've dealt with Slim. He won't be fucking with anybody in a hurry. What makes you so sure? Because I won't give him a second chance. Good. Because if anyone's going to kill my dearest brother, it's going to be me. Thanks a fucking lot, dearest sister. <laughs> Don't get upset.
Katao Picucho. You wanted to poison Baraka. What are you talking about? Cucho brought bad food. Your fault that Baraka is weak. Ixil said if I bring you the food, there would be peace. Oh, Ixil. He behind this. He tricked us both, Gucho. What he promised was as bad as the food you bring. Ixil will pay for his treason. I can count on you, right? Very well, Gucho. Baraka help you take revenge on Ixil. Be careful. If he notice someone want him dead, he won't leave camp. Tell him Baraka dead. For proof, take my amulet. He won't believe you, and he'll search for my body. When he's outside village, kill him. Is there no other way than to kill Ixil? He promised you friendship between the Kila and the Kuchos. If you let him live, he will continue to make trouble. His death will bring peace. He will fulfill his promise. The Hike wish it so, Gucho. Give me the amulet. Hopefully Ixil will fall for it. He will, Gucho. He will. Trust our Hike. They help you. Enough talk. Take it. Show. No mercy. Um... What? Oh, nothing. It's fine. It can wait. Baraka is dead. This must be a trick, Gucho. There is no one on Kila stronger. Apparently there is now. Here's his amulet. You kill him. Who says I killed him? If you don't believe me, go look for yourself. Oh, right. He most probably ate something that did not agree with him. <laughs> his body is to the northwest, underneath the Great Gate. Ixil will confirm what you say. If you are lying, you will face the wrath of the Tiwas.
Baraka is not here, Kucho. You don't say. You tricked Ixil. So, how does it feel? It feel like pain you will suffer now. Baraka! Ixil no longer spreads lies. Kampa of the Kila is safe again. I will ask Ahike to forgive Ixil's soul. You have done a great deed for peace. Take pride, Gucho. Baraka will stand guard. Baraka will stand guard. Oh no, bamboo leg! Stand with him! Come on then! Let's duck him! That was fast! I don't feel good. Oh no! Stand with him! Finally I get to use my weapon! <laughs> I hate insects. I'm going to make a hat out of your skin.
Tommy! Hey, leave some for me!
a shimmering pearl. It almost looks like an eye. A huge chunk of jade. Interesting. I'd better keep it. About the ingredients for your scepter again. Chi, bring them to me once you have found them. I found a shimmering pearl. That is good, Gucho. Your search must have been exhausting. It's fine. Thank you. This will work well for the scepter. I found a huge chunk of jade. Ah, Chi. It will form the crown of our new scepter. Well done, Gucho. I've brought you all the ingredients you wanted. Then the scepter of the ancestors is now ready. I will hand it to Hirutu immediately. It is only due to your help that we will soon be able to appease the ancestors. Thank you. Take this. It will be of use on your journey. I will also teach you the swarm spell when you are ready. Monkey bone and the black heart for cleaning. So be it, Gucho. Here is your black heart. Ixil is dead. Chi. The disease of all Guchos was his ruin. Oh? And what would that be? In your language, it is called greed. I see. But not all are like that. Yet, you carry the same inside you. Whether you succumb is up to you. Even though Ixil brought much grief to his tribe, 
His death is a great loss. I will ask our Kiki to prepare his transition to the underworld. Now, go, Gucho. Can you show me voodoo magic? You want me to instruct you in the teachings of our ancestors? That's right. Ha! I will never reveal our secrets to a stranger. The ancestors are angered. They have not spoken to us for many days. I cannot instruct you unless they listen to me again. How did you anger them? It was not us. It's the work of the evil powers that reach for us. The visions of Kiki Tenya must be free of death and destruction once more. Tenya has long endeavored to obtain the Hike's favor. We Kila must wait patiently for Tenya. Can't you speed it up? Something might happen to the Kila by then. Our fate is nothing without the aid of the Hike, Gucho. Your hasty words will not help. I'll do it. I'll make your ancestors talk again. You are brave. And you have the tenacity of a panther. But whether that's enough remains to be seen. It is highly unlikely, as the Hike do not speak to us Kila these days. So, what if I manage to do it? Impossible. But, well, if they do speak to you, I will instruct you in voodoo magic. All right. There you go. Capo, be careful, Gucho. Then you will be one of us. Akila, I will admit you into our tribe and entrust you with our secrets. But that also means you must defend our people and cannot be a member of any other community. And what if I don't want to join your tribe? By learning the law of voodoo magic, you must fulfill your duty as one of our tribe members. But you can decide what when the time comes. Now, go to Tenya and help her finish the Scepter of the Ancestors. Only with the Scepter will we be able to make the Hike answer our prayers. Come back to me when Tenya has completed her task. Then, and only then will we talk again about voodoo magic, Gucho. I helped Tenya make the symbols of the ancestors. Really? Hmm. Well, you have proven yourself worthy of being accepted into our tribe. We will hold the invocation ceremony and then we'll see if the Hike hears your prayers.
The time has come. I shall leave you now. You can't go. I've got your soul shard. You had it. Bones was nice enough to return it to me. Bones did what? Don't get overexcited. It's bad for your blood pressure. I'd love to watch them tear you to pieces, but it would take up too much of my time. We'll meet again in the underworld, you useless moron. I can purify black hearts. I could never do that. I'm impressed. Now you can make your own medicine. The main thing is that it's profitable. Thanks for your help with getting the black hearts. And like I said, I hope they do help. But you'll need your spirit again if you want a full recovery. I'll help you as best as I can to make that happen. Someone from the crew is missing. Oh, yes? Mendoza is gone. Hmm, I know. I gave Mendoza his soul shard back so he could leave. I don't think we'll see him again. You gave Mendoza his soul shard back? Yes, uh, I'm sorry. What the fuck? I didn't think it was a good idea to keep Mendoza with us. You just aren't malicious or devious enough to have someone like him on board. He would have stabbed us in the back. Why didn't Mendoza kill me? This would have been his chance. Perhaps he wants you to complete your quest. You're fighting for something that he maybe thinks is close to his own ideals. But who knows? Um... What? Oh, 